Qualifying went fairly well. Uh, finished uh, second in the in the qualifying, so start in the front row. Yeah, you know, of course, I wanted to win the qualifying as well, but uh, more importantly is the race, so uh, we're in good shape for that. Bikes re working really good here. You know, really enjoying it, and, and you know, just uh, just building up. You know, it's been a good qualifying. Had a good morning warm up now, and yeah, just um, doing my duties this morning, and uh, yeah, ready for for race one. Yeah, obviously we've done uh, the, the signing session at the Spider Drome with the giveaway. Now obviously for the, the talk of hospitality and then straight there to pit walk and then straight to race one, so it's busy. But um, yeah, it's all, all part of the job and, uh, and in all, all enjoyable. I guess everything's going really well. Um, fastest in most sessions, happy with the bike. It's going to be a tough race, you know, there's going to be three or four people out there in, in with a shout of it, I think. Pace is going to be fast. You know, we're down under the lap record quite consistently, really, so it's, uh, it's going to be a hard race for sure. The start's so vital, Brooks bang in the middle of the picture and burn to the right, to the left, the green helmet of James Ellison. The lights go out and then thousands of horsepower hit the deck and Shaky Burn gets a brilliant start on the rapid solicitors Kawasaki and dives into the lead with Brooks holding off James Ellison's attempt to get underneath him. Whoa, big moments. Oh, oh no! And a collision going down the hill towards Cascades. Wowee! Fastest man on track last lap was Brooks. As we drop down the hill. Yeah, it is Fowler. Look at this, Tommy Bridewell getting uh, a big... Pardon, I'm, I'm behind myself. It's Brooks getting level with uh, the Cumbrian James Ellison. Whoa. Is that Ellison? That That's might be Ellison's Ellison. made a big mistake there. I think... Here comes Bridewell, Bridewell outbreaking Easton, contrasting styles there. So Tommy Bridewell moves through into fourth place. It's now Bridewell, Easton, Kianari. The last lap. Kianari will once again try and move inside Bridewell, and he does so ruthlessly at Logic Order. What a clean pass. Here is the battle at the front. Uh, shaky burn, that gap has slightly reduced, but we are on the 15th of 18 laps, so there's only three laps left for Brooks to do anything about it. He set the fastest lap of the race. Oh, oh Kinari stopped at Island Bend. Oh, this is just tantalising for Brooks. Is he going to be close enough? I don't think so, but he will think he is. You know, just really give one slide, one running wide, one mistake from Shane Burn, which he doesn't often make, I have to say. Shaky looking steady, but under pressure, 135.4. Another fastest lap, that is a lap record. It's a new lap record. We've finally got a lap record broken. Keogh's 2006 mark has oh. been blown away by Brooks, 135.411. He surely he has he got the gap that he needed. And is it Bull, which closes Just. across the line? Byrne takes it by 0 0.105 of a second after a brilliant first race here at Alton Park. Third place for James Ellison, fourth for Tommy Bridewell, so a good day for the Milwaukee Yamahas. Got to be happy, got to be happy really, you know. It's um, got mixed up a little bit behind James. Uh, as soon as he was past James, then he just showed his pace, really. New lap record, it's been a while since we get lap records in BSB uh, on Pirelli, so showed his pace. Hopefully we can make it happen in the second one. Tommy definitely made a step forward. Um, he looked like he had a good ride, some good battles. Uh, he'll have a good, decent grid position for the second one and, and hopefully can go forward.
Brooks needs the start off the front row. Lights go out, clutches out, throttles, flaps, stick open, down the road towards Old Hall, and a terrific start. Oh, look at this, Burns going to try the same move again. Oh, no. but they, oh, oh dear me. Yeah, is he going to be there? I tell you what. I'm trying to speak. Yeah. Oh, oh look at this! Back at it. Brooks just—that's uh, the I've first been... move we've seen. I've never seen uh, that. <laughs> well, oh, Ellison. here's Ellison. Ellison tried to pull that move when he lost it and went onto the grass in the first race. This time, a clean pass. Hey, oh. Shaky Brown is back in front of James Last Ellison. Easton is being closed on by Bridewell. Josh Brooks leads the way, just still from Shaky Byrne. They've got two laps to sort this out. 2014 Championship, and once again starting, trying to get level as they go towards Island Bend. Yeah. Stay with him pace-wise, it's... And you don't know, you really don't know. I think it's a lodge if you're still in front, you've got to defend, because if somebody's going to have a go, it's their last chance. Shaky gets again, a terrific again, drive a out of drive. Cascades. Brilliant drive out of Cascades, that's where he had it, but Brooks, sheer willpower, manages to hold it, get alongside and do him on the brakes. Not going to do it, he's not going to do it there. He saw the front of Brooks' bike dip last. Oh, he's gone in hot, though, oh, but you see yes. that Shaky cannot get back round him. That in a waste. Oh, oh, oh Shaky to... <laughs> Did he lose the front, then? Yeah, got a little bit of a slide at the... the I know, uh, I know. This is Shane's last chance. He needs to get a really good drive out of Druid and put himself in the perfect passing place, which is into... I don't think... I, I actually don't think he's lost he did, he, Brooks has Brooks is going to defend. I think he's going to defend. And I think yes. Brooks has got it. As now, long as he Brooks can get, can get, get the drive, get it stopped, get the drive. He's got it, he's got it, and, and well deserved, I've got to say. Josh Brooks Brilliant. will take victory at last. He dents the rapid solicitor's Kawasaki domination of the British Superbike Championship of 2014. A simply tremendous ride, a tremendous win. Shaggy Burns second. What a contest. Third for James Ellison. Fourth place goes to Stuart Easton. Fifth place goes to Tommy Bridewell on the second Milwaukee Yamaha. Last five years in BSB when I've won races, um, it's always been a dogfight to get to the result. It's not been lead from the start to the finish. Um, not that I can remember anyway. And um, so to, to be up front for the majority of that race was, was really, it's sort of almost a strange situation for me because I haven't done it for so long. We had a difficult round one, but we've we've certainly turned it around today and uh, well this weekend and feel feel really good. Well, started off with a qualifying session that really wasn't um, wasn't what we hoped for. With Josh obviously pushing really hard for the uh, for the pole position, but you know you've got to take it with a one-two podium credits, fastest lap, broke the lap record. Uh, fantastic day for the Milwaukee boys, but just as important as well for for, for Tommy. You know, Tommy Bridewell has got his. Uh, you know, he's got his pace back again, two top six results there, it's fantastic for him. We're going to a long break now with the boys going over to the North Western TT, so for us it's, uh, it's a, big, uh, a big break and then uh, come back to round three at Snetterton.